Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this sunny seed beads bracelet. As I promised when I was making the sunny seed beads earrings, I made this bracelet especially for you to be able to make beautiful set for present or for yourself. If you want to support me, what you could do is subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button. In this way, you will be notified when I release new absolutely free videos. You could also like, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions in the comments. And in this way, you help me and support me so much. Uh, you could also check my new merch store where you could find mugs, hoodies, cups, pillows, phone covers, t-shirts and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you and in this way you support my channel and my cows by buying some of those stuff and if you make beautiful jewelry uh, following my tutorials you could share them on my Facebook page that I posted below I will be so happy to see your creations and another advice from me before I start I did this with monofilament, but at, I think it will be it will look more beautiful and relaxed if you use beading thread. So probably it's a good idea to use beading thread for this project. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what I'm using are 3 colors of 11 oz seed beads and you could use 10 oz of course and I'm using here a clasp, lobster's claw and a jump ring. You could use other type of clasp that you would like and I'm using here scissors, size 10 beading needle and I'm using monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters and you could use other beading thread of your choice. And I'm using my flat nose pliers to help myself to go through some beads if there is a need. And uh, I'm also squeezing my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle. But if you use regular beading thread, it's made flat and it goes easily through size 10 beading needle. Okay, and now I'm going to take about 18 inches of thread on my needle, which is about 45 centimeters, and I'll be back. Now guys, I have my thread on my needle and what I'm going to do is take four yellow beads, okay, sliding them down, I will stick my needle in my mat and here I'm going to make a loop and go twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling. Then I'm going through the following seed bead, okay, and I want to take a green bead going through the following yellow, then one more green, go here. And I will repeat this two more times. Okay guys, and now this is what I have. I have the center of my element. Okay, and now my goal is to exit out of this green one and step up in my next row. And in my next row, I need red, green and red. Red, green and red. Okay. And I'm going through the following green. Okay, just like that. And again, red, green and a red going through the following green a red a green and a red and I'm going through my following green a red a green and a red and I'm going through this green one 
okay now what I want to do is go here and reach after my next red one okay and here between the reds I will add one green everywhere okay adding one green exiting out of my next red one one green and two more times everywhere one green okay now my goal is to exit out of my next green one just like that okay and I will take yellow, red, yellow, yellow, red, and yellow. Okay, I have this. And I will go to my next green. And then again, yellow, red, yellow. Going to the following green. Yellow red yellow go here and i'm going to continue Okay, now I'm going to exit out of this red one here. And now I will add yellow, green and yellow. Okay, this is what I have. And I will go through my next red one. Okay. And I'm going to repeat this yellow, green, yellow. Going to the following yellow, green, yellow, go here, and I will repeat this until the end of this row. Okay, and here pay attention that you should go through this red one here, the last red one. Okay, and I'm pulling. Okay, guys, now I have this. Now it's time to make my last step. And for my last step, I need to be exiting out of a yellow bead. And here I will take three yellow beads. And as I'm exiting from this yellow, I will go through the following yellow. And I have this. Now I'm exiting out of my next yellow. And I'm taking three yellows. Going through the following yellow. And if you can exit out of your next yellow in one movement okay I'm fixing a little bit then I need three more as I'm exiting from this yellow I'm going through the following okay and through the next two beads 
and I will show you one more time okay three yellows exiting out of my yellow I'm going through the next yellow and through the following two beads exiting out of my neighbor yellow okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm just adding my last three beads from this row I need a little bit of fixing okay guys and now I did seven more elements so I have eight in total and I'm going to show you how to connect them in a bracelet and what I need is to take about an arm span of thread and I will take my first element okay and what I want to do here is add here my new thread okay I'm going through this middle bead in this case pulling leaving a small tail and here what I want to do is make a knot so I'm making a loop here this is a long thread you know and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I'm pulling and now guys this is what I have now what I want to do is attach here my clasp in the first element okay so I'm going through oops I need to do this to go here okay going through this C bit taking two yellow beads taking my clasp and then two more yellow beads okay this is what I have on my needle and here I'm going again through this yellow that is at the opposite side okay now I have this and I want to reinforce this work here okay and I will reinforce this work two more times and then I will be back to show you what's coming up next guys and I reinforced this joint here several more times and now I want to cut my tail thread here and what I want to do is go here through some beads and reach the other part of my element here okay and now I'm here and what I want to do is take my next element and connect them and in order to connect them I will take one yellow bead and I will go here through the top bead of one of my next elements angles okay so this is what I have now and I will take one more seed bead and I will go here back through the first angle bead okay and I'm pulling so here is what I have here something like right angle weave and I'm going to reinforce it
okay and now what I want to do is go here at my next angles and connect them the same way okay and I will show you how I'm doing this Okay, I'm going through the following angle bead. Okay, now I need one seed bead. Going here through this yellow, pulling. Then I need one more. Here it is. And I'm going here through this one. Okay, and I'm reinforcing. Okay, this is what I have, and now I will go to the other part of my element and I will continue connecting all of my elements and when I'm ready, I'll be back to show you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys, and now I connected all of those elements and now it's time to attach my jump ring. Okay, and... I'm exiting out of this yellow bit here. You see where my thread is. Now I'm going to take two yellow beads, my jump ring, and then again two yellows. And this is the same thing that I did when I was connecting my clasp. And I will go through here. Okay. And now I will do some reinforcements of camera. I will make some knots, cut my thread and my bracelet will be ready. Okay guys, and now my sunny seed beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new upcoming videos. This way you will be able to see when I make sets. First I did those two earrings and then my bracelet and if you subscribe and hit the bell you will be notified for this you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me with this it's a really great support and you could also check my new merch store where you will find mugs hoodies cups and the designs are, are made especially from me for you and you could also share on my Facebook page your creations that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.